is Purdue falling apart? I I don't know. Um, their defense sucks. I will say that, and um, maybe we can talk about that in a second. But the real story is Johnny Davis, who had 37 points in Mackey Arena, 27 in the second half. Tate, um, this dude averaged seven points a game last year, and is now leading the country in scoring. He's unstoppable. He he hits. He he's a freak athlete. He he is, is smooth as hell. It is uh it has been a ton of fun to watch him. And as I said at the top, um the national player of the year race is getting juicy because Paolo Bancaro was a no, who who was the original national player of the year? Drew Timmy, right? I think Drew Timmy. It was Drew Timmy. Yeah. He was the preseason guy. And then Paolo goes nuts against Gonzaga. He becomes the guy. EJ Liddell becomes the guy. Now I I do feel like the momentum is behind Johnny Davis. There's a ton of basketball left to be pay, played, but uh it's interesting that that we're here now and the the national player of the year race is pretty wide open, isn't it? Because you could throw in like Keegan Murray at Iowa is is great. Unbelievable. Gonna be a top well. ten pick, I think. Yes. Yeah. He's he, he him and Johnny Davis are having very similar they have very similar stories. Like arcs, yeah, in their career. Last right? year they were kind of We saw flashes of it last year for both of them. Yeah. Like they would have these moments you're like, man, that guy's pretty interesting. But they took the leap a lot quicker but, than I think we expected. Yeah, but they were both playing behind like 30 seniors. Yeah. So they couldn't really flourish and then you get all those guys out of the way and now all of a sudden Except for Brad. Up. Did you, do you know that they both have twin brothers that aren't as good on the isn't that insane yeah Keegan Murray really and Johnny it, yeah. Davis both have twin brothers that are on Johnny Davis has a brother on Wisconsin Keegan Murray has a twin brother on Iowa that just aren't as good as they are but that's isn't also that, like a while it's also like a good formula you know what I mean and not just the twin but to have your brother on the team that's not as good I think of like Taylor and Blake yeah. Griffin you know what I mean yeah. almost Fires you up a little bit. Were they twins? They weren't twins. They weren't twins. But I think same, Taylor same was a little thing. bit older. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, just brothers. Um, so but but they also both like averaged like seven points a game last year. Now they're averaging like twenty five or something close yeah. to it. Um, it, it, it's been crazy. But you got Keegan Murray. Uh, don't forget about Kofi Coburn. Who's, Kofi Coburn who's been an absolute monster. Sleeper. This, this is just only the Big Ten, by the way. You, mm-hmm. The Big Ten might get four first team All Americans, and I would say that as a Big Ten homer, just to you know, get under the skin of everyone listening. Johnny Davis right now, it's not crazy to say he's going to be the first team all American. Yeah. And he's obviously in the national player of the year conversation, but I think the casual fan hears that and they're like, who, who is this guy? What are you talking about? And I think the Maui invitational actually not being in Maui hurt Johnny Davis getting the Maui bump. Right. You know what I mean? Like if he was in Lahaina Lahaina. and putting up 30 points on Houston and we were at the game, we would have. I'd still be talking. That'd, that'd be all I'd be talking. We'd be about. calling him Johnny Basketball. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, and it would be a whole thing. That's all I'd be talking about. Exactly. Um. But yeah. So so you got the, those four dudes in the Big Ten. Don't forget about Jaden Ivey, who I haven't given up on yet. But his defensive effort is is suspect, and he needs to get knocked down a peg or two and build his way back up. But, uh, Agbaji could be National Player of the Year. Still. Yeah. Matherin, don't sleep on him at at, at uh, Arizona. Um. We we talked about Wendell Moore, Paolo Bencaro. Uh, Jabari Smith. Did you mention EJ Liddell? I mean, I think he's still I, yeah. in the conversation. You know. What oh, I mean? absolutely. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. It, it, it's it's interesting to me because as I was thinking about like where the National Player of the Year race stands right now, and again, it's it's way too early to be doing this, but at the same time, it is funny because every time someone has a big game, they're like, "Is he your guy now?" Um, is the Kinjo in there from Baylor? He could be. I mean, I think I think I just he's feel like the number the, one team in the country has to have somebody yeah. in the conversation, but do they at the same time? You yeah. know, but I guess if you have to throw in the de facto person, I guess he'll, he'll get in there just based off of that. Like yeah. the, the the best player best on the team best team. The best team. Yeah, yeah, the best player on the best team always <laughs> finds his finds his way there. But uh, the, what was interesting to me is I was thinking through like guys as I was handicapping the National Player of the Year race in my own head. I have no idea how Vegas has it, but like I was just kind of making a list of guys that I think have a shot. Um, a lot of the preseason first team all American guys who aren't even that bad this year, but they just like didn't come to mind. Like Drew Timmy doesn't come to mind to me. I don't think Drew Timmy's gonna win national player of the year. No. I think if you're betting on Drew Timmy, just light your money on fire. I don't think he's I think it's done because Gonzaga, like the only way he could win it is that he he dominated the non conference and then rides that momentum all through the con- you, you, He's already missed his window. He missed his window. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree, I agree with that. Um Johnny Juzang. Fair or not, UCLA going on a COVID pause for four and a half months. Or, Miss his my window. God, he missed his window. Johnny Juzang, I don't think he'll win National Player of the Year now, no matter how great he is. Which is going into the season, those were the two guys I yeah. think, that we would talk about. You know, it's Timmy or Juzang. I think Colin Gillespie could, there's a path, but like, God, he's got to just be otherworldly in the Big East. 
And, and Villanova has been so up and down. I yeah. Mean, you know, they get blown out by 20 to Creighton. Then you blow out Creighton by 30 some. And, you know, it's just kind of like, I can't really keep up. And I think America, you know, they love Colin Gillespie, but they're not riding the national player of the year. It had to be a consistent run for him to be that. Yeah, I I think uh, uh, Trace Jackson Davis as well. It was a first team AP preseason All-American has been great this year for Indiana. Um, I don't think he's going to win. I don't, I think like he, he's, he's kind of missed his window in that, like, Indiana has some bad losses, and Indiana's not on anybody's radar. Is like, like I don't know. He's not going to get. They're in that just like six to ten range in the Big Ten. Yeah, where like no one's really fascinated by them. Yet. He still has a chance in the sense that like a lot of the names we've mentioned as as Player of the Year candidates are Big Ten guys. So if like he could Grayson, go up against, he goes them. nuts against yeah. Kofi Coburn, and then follows it up with you know a huge game against EJ Liddell. Then maybe they they play tonight. By the way, EJ Liddell and Ooh. Jackson Davis. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I don't yeah. think it's going to go well for Ohio State. <laughs> Indiana's got some guys out, right? Because of COVID protocols? Do they? I think so. I think oh, I saw that. All right. So there you go. I mean, all right, we might be back. <laughs> it just feels like a game, Indiana. I, I don't I don't know. It, I don't, I, I, the vibes are off for mm-hmm. Ohio State. Because we. I, 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 I don't. I, don't I did know. see that Mike Woodson is wearing a suit. Yeah. That was announced. He will yeah. be in a suit. It's at home. He, it's it's if the crowd shows up, if the assembly hall crowd shows up, uh, it, it's I, I'm not. I, it's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not mad about it. But anyway, um, yeah, th- there are a lot of dudes in the national player of the year race, and uh, I just want to point that out because it's been it's been a ton of fun. Who, who's the guy that right now though for you? I mean, I think Big O's in the conversation. Oscar Sheboy. I think yeah, he's throw him in there. Be, Why not? I don't. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna win it, I but I. I, I think but. he's in the conversation just because of. I think that twenty-eight rebound game has stuck with people, or at least it's stuck in my head. And the other thing uh, that's helpful, fifteen and fifteen is nice. Other thing that's helpful for him is how charismatic he is, and how funny he is, and how like he, he's a he's a media machine in the sense that like Kentucky already just having Kentucky on the front of your chest already is going to get eyeballs on you, but then. Uh, Oscar Shuboy Shub- Oscar Shuboy is a, a fun interview. He's he's as you say he's got, he's an oddity too. Like he yeah. he at getting he's already got four games game with is, twenty rebounds already. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when the 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 Kentucky you know the countryside was all torn apart, he went and did his help, and then he That's said he got point. the rebounds for the people of Kentucky. Even though he was playing Western Kentucky, I was like. The Western Kentucky yeah, yeah. people probably wanted Western Kentucky to get those rebounds, but uh, no, they didn't. Nobody they were cheering for Western. <laughs> but but you know, it was one of those things where it's like he endeared himself to the, the general public, which I think plays a factor in this sometimes the National Player of the Year. So I see him in that conversation. But I mean, Johnny Davis right now is the answer. I think, I think so, which is pretty wild. To I think say. so. I think EJ Liddell was. I I, I do think it, it's just interesting because it is going to ebb and flow like that, and I guess it, it kind of does. Um, every year ish, mm. but not necessarily, you know, like some guys yeah. like have such a big initial start to this, like Zion's a great example. I mean, all roads lead back to Zion, I guess, but like Zion, um, explodes on the scene and then everyone was just trying to catch up to him for national player of the year, the entire season. And it never really happened. Uh, so sometimes like stuff like that can happen where guys just like, we're always looking to knock whoever's on the top yeah. off. But sometimes it's it's so obvious that we, we don't do that. And this year is not going to be one of those cases. This year it's going to be whoever has the big game on that night. Yeah. Like, is he the national player of the year? <laughs> is this guy national player? It kind of happened in college football. You know, it was the whole year yeah, where every, everyone yeah. was trying to find the Heisman. Yeah. And then eventually Bryce Young goes like, I'm the Heisman. I'm the Heisman. <laughs> and you're like, I guess. <laughs> and then everyone's like, I don't want it to be Bryce Young. Please don't be Bryce Young. <laughs> Hey there, thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.